Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, this is going to be uh, my testimony on how I became a Christian. Um, so uh, let me just start off by saying that uh, uh, I'm the son of a preacher man. And that my father's father, uh, before him, he was also a preacher. And uh, both of them, they were very staunch uh, believers in Jesus Christ. Um, when I was very little, I also believed in God, but due to, like, several hardships that I faced as a teen, I sort of fell away from God, and then I became an agnostic atheist for, for a couple of years. And, um, in my 20s, I got dragged into a bunch of, uh, New Age stuff. You know, that stuff about the, the light workers, uh, Atlantis, Lemuria, and... Uh, the reptilians, the aliens, it's just pretty much worshiping the, uh, the universe. Um, that's pretty much what I was doing. That was my 20s. Um, there was a time where I was also an agnostic theist, and I believed in a false god. Okay, I'm not going to get into too much of it, but I did, and there are some of you who watch the channel, you're very familiar with some of that content I had on here. Um... But yeah, anyways, um, there was a time where I also uh, dabbled in magic uh, and astrology. And, you know, I didn't really uh, realize how deeply and how seriously I was uh, grieving God as I was uh, slipping further and further into a lot of other uh, sinful things. And, um, you know, all the while I was I was getting high and um, uh, drunk and uh, pretty much um, it was it was bad. I was doing a lot of that stuff, and um, it was to the point to where I was uh, I was physically and um, emotionally abusing my family members, uh, my friends, and, and of course myself. And uh, that's when things really uh, started to get worse for me. Uh, for many years, I lived a life as a fake person. I wasn't uh, being true to myself. You know, I was lying to people about who I was and. Uh, I was trying to be more than who I really am. And uh, at first I didn't even really, uh, I didn't realize that I was actually doing this to hide my own insecurities as a person because, you know, there's a there's a sense of power that people get um, from deceiving others. You know, deceiving and, and manipulating people and scheming and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I did a lot of this. And, you know, inside this made me really feel like a, a, a crappy person. And, uh, you know, I was doing all of that, and then I was also entertaining uh, homosexuality and uh, things like that. And by that, I mean, like, I would support it. You know, I would, I've, there's been times where I've, I've gone to the clubs and, and uh, the gay clubs and stuff like that. Yes, uh, so anyways, um, you know, as I was doing all of that stuff, all of my relationships began to suffer. Um, my employment, you know, it became unstable. And, you know, there were times where um, employment was actually non-existent for a while. And, you know, I felt alienated. And, uh, and so when I was doing these things, you know, I, there'd be times where I would watch, uh, you know, a bunch of naked uh, people uh, do the nasty. That's right. You know, I, I did that. Uh, I did that nasty thing. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, eventually... Uh, uh, all of my wrongdoings, uh, they began to sort of backfire on me. And uh, at one point, it landed me in jail. Hey, I went to jail, and I've even went to a mental uh, facility a few times. And and that's uh, when God really started to come into my life, and that's when things really started to turn around. You know, there was, there was this one time when I, I, had, a, I had ended up, uh, I smoked a, a lot of weed. And, uh, you know, I, I had gotten so high. I mean, it, it, was, it was really bad where I became like, uh, really delusional, you know, and I, and I thought that I was a fictional character, um, a fictional character called Darkseid, and I thought I was this character, like, in, in the flesh, and, uh, it's this character from the DC universe, and, uh, you know, I had to convince myself that I was, was this character, and that I had, uh, reincarnated, uh, you know, into the flesh, and, you know, I was experiencing, uh, you know, existing, 
you know, uh, um, um, this character in, in, in the flesh. And after I had uh, taken that, that last puff, I just remembered that uh, my head just started spinning. And that fictional character just manifested itself through me. And I was chanting his name. I was, I was calling myself the dark, dark side. But anyways, um, you know, at one point, I remember the police was called uh, while I was going through this this mental episode, and I remember uh, standing like with my hands behind my back, and they were leading me uh, to the cop car, and then you know they they put me inside, and then uh, you know uh, one moment I'm tumbling around in the car or something like that, I black out, and then the next moment I wake up, and then uh, the police officers they're rolling me on a stretcher. And I, I remember that uh, one of them was trying to, you know, he was trying to restrain my legs, and he was, he was a very heavy built dude. And this guy must have been about like 300 pounds or something like that, you know, something real close to that, uh, that weight. And he was trying to hold my legs down uh, with his hands, you know, and and just keep them still for a moment. They were rolling me around the stretcher, but he he couldn't. You know, I, I mean, he was trying so hard to the point to where he decided he was like, hell, I'm just gonna just put all of his weight on my leg. He literally jumped on top to pin my legs down. He was a big dude, man, but he could not do it. He couldn't do it. And guys, I'm under 140 pounds. You know, and this man with all of his all of his might, all of his weight, uh, came on top of me. And then uh, I, my leg went like, boom, like that. He just popped off. This actually really happened. I have no reason to make this up. It, it was it's, it's, it was weird, it, you know. I'm not trying to be strong or anything like that. Um, this is this really actually happened, and it weirded me out because he didn't turn and he looked at his partner, giving him that look like, "What is going on?" You know, I mean, he was really perplexed uh, when when he ended up um, getting knocked off of me. Okay, so after that, I remember waking up in this. Uh, I was shackled to the hospital bed, both my arms. I was all shackled down, and uh, standing over here, there was like a, there was an old man. Uh, he was like a security guard, and you know, he came up to me, and he was like, uh, you kept chanting Dark Side when they brought you in here. You know, he kept saying that. And he's like, uh, that's not your name. He was like, your name is Joshua, okay? And I was like, yeah, that's my name. And then uh, he was like, um, well, when they rolled you in here, did you see the cross on top of that hospital? And I was like, uh, no, I didn't see that, sir. And he was like, yeah, there's a cross on top of there. And he's like, and you're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine, son. And I was like, okay, you know, thank you. And then after that, I saw a doctor. And then the doctor, you know, deemed that I was, uh, you know, mentally unwell. And so uh, he had me transported to a, uh, a psychiatric ward where I stayed for uh, about a week. Okay, and uh, let me just say, there were some strange things that happened in there. Some very strange things. But I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, but yeah, um, I'll just say that, um, after I came, they released me, uh, from the, the psych ward, that's when God really started to, uh, well, I started to find my way back to Christ. Uh, so, you know, fast forward, uh, about a few weeks later, and then, um, I remembered that, I I was on this random, you know, this uh, chat site, it's called, uh, Omegle is what it's called. And uh, it's just a place where they set up random chats and you just talk to people from anywhere in, in the world. And uh, while I'm on there, I meet this Christian. You know, his screen is black and, you know, I, I, he just started uh, proselytizing to me. And he was trying to tell me, uh, he was trying to get me to uh, become Christian. You know, I'm kind of familiar with scripture at this point a little bit, a, a little bit. You know, I, I know some things and stuff like that. And I, I've already kind of, uh, I felt that I was in the know, so he didn't need to tell me anything. But, um... You know, it, it, there was a debate that ended up happening. We got into this, this like, uh, debate. It was, you know, typical, uh, typical arguments that you see. Like, how do you know that your God, you know, is, uh, is the true God, is what I told him, you know. and Because uh, there's so many other gods. That's one thing. And, and then the, the, he just started proselytizing to me. And he was warning me about the dangers of going to hell for eternity, you know, if I didn't accept Jesus Christ as my, uh, my Lord and Savior. And, uh, you know, at the time, I wasn't ready. I wasn't willing to listen to, to any of that kind of stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, especially the kind of tone he was using, you know. Um, you know, he, he was very, you know, I felt that he was judging me and, and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't wanting to hear that, though. Um, 
but I was close. I was I was getting close, but I wasn't ready. Um, you know, and um, he actually offended me. So I was like, um, I felt a bit. I was like, you know, you, you have to be patient when it comes to talking about you know uh, hell and stuff like that. You know, I remember there was a verse of the that I had tried to reference there, that, it, you know, you should be patient, and then, um, but someone said that to me one time, and, um, and then after that, I, I, you know, I just, uh, I left the chat. Okay, now, at that time, I had been a part of this uh, Satanist group on this Discord server, uh, for a little while, but, um, these were not your occult Satanists, uh, you know, um, you know, to my knowledge, uh, none of them were actually practicing uh, witchcraft or anything like that. Uh, these were like your um, your political Satanists. You know, the guys who are all like, oh, we uh, we oppose religion. We oppose, you know, people trying to force things on us. We oppose things that are against people's will and all this kind of stuff. Um, they were doing that. You know, and they, they claimed that they were, um, that they had some, some good intentions for humanity and stuff like that. But after a while, I started to realize that uh, under the surface, their agenda was more... Uh, it was more malevolent uh, uh, than than what it seemed, um, and then um, so I you know one day Pat I remember there was this one day where uh, this random guy he joined the the server, and uh, you know, he came in there, and he was telling people that he believed in God, you know, uh, but he wasn't being very direct about it. He didn't just come in and be like I believe in God. You know, he was more like uh, oh I believe in God, but. He isn't actually in, involved with the world, and he was like trying to, trying to say that he believed in God, but not the God of the Bible. Okay, and so as he's doing all this, you know, I'm I'm really curious, and I want to know his beliefs exactly, because I've been through the ringer. I've been through different uh, at this point in time, all kinds of types of uh, religions and belief systems and things like that, and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm I started asking him questions about his belief, and uh, that's when he started telling me that. Um, he believed in uh, deism or something like that, and which is like uh, a believing that God exists, but that he that he isn't actually involved with the world and the people and things like that. But he was telling me that he was doing prayers, so it didn't it didn't make sense to me. But um, when he started doing that, amongst all the confusion and stuff, the Satanist, you know, they they saw what he was what he was saying, and and they just started ganging up on him. You know, they're all like. Uh, do you believe in God or not? Oh, yes, you do. You actually do believe in God and, and stuff like that. You know, and they, they started attacking this dude. Like, this, I'm like, man. And when this happened, you could see the spiritual warfare going on. You could actually see it. You know, it was black and white to me. You know, this dude didn't even really say what God he believed in. And then already the atheists, they were just jumping down his throat. You know, they um they started coming at him really hard and... um. Like, uh, they were taking it very personal, too. They were taking his stance like it, like they were, they had some kind of a personal offense to what he was saying about his own belief system about God. And that's, that didn't sit well with me when that happened. I was like, what the heck? Okay, but anyways, after the situation happened, it, it kind of, I felt that I had encountered that, um, you know, because I had that suit, that, that uh, conversation with the guy from Omegle, and then not long after this happened, I felt that that was God coming into that group to deliver me, you know, and, and to get me out of that, that Satanist, uh, uh, the discord or whatever. So I, I, uh, just left the group, you know, I didn't even just bam, I'm gone. And then, um, after that happened, I remember just like, uh, it was a, probably that night, not long after I started praying to the Lord, you know, and I was saying, Hey, you know, I really want to know, um, what's going on supernaturally. I want to know, can you reveal like something, some kind of proof, you know, some kind of evidence or whatever, because I'm still very, you know, science minded and, and, and things like that. Could you, could you reveal those things to me? And, um, you know, I also, I remember uh, not only for me, but I remember, uh, I had did a video a while back where I had prayed that God revealed the supernatural, because I knew that there was some supernatural things going on. It's just that, it, uh, there wasn't much clarity. And, um, I wanted to, I wanted definitively to have an experience, you know, something that just could not be debated, could not be refuted. And I, I did that. And not long after that, I had these, uh, uh, this, these security cameras that were set up outside my home, you know, and, and things watching, uh, facing the road and stuff like that in front of my place and in my, near my driveway as well. And uh, 
just on this peculiar night, man, like these lights, these beaming lights, these orbs just started floating in and everything like that around my security cameras and I could just see them, you know, moving. And at first I'm thinking like, okay, this is some kind of a bug or some kind of light bug or something or a dragon. What is it called? A, a, a firefly or something like that. Um, the, those light bugs or whatever it is that move. I thought it was some kind of bug. And I was, you know, looking to do some research on it. And because they were moving back and forth. And after a while, I started thinking, I'm like, maybe it's, it, it doesn't appear to be a bug. They got closer. I still couldn't actually see the, the figure of the bug. The, because, you know, you would see the detail, the legs and, uh, you know, just the, the whole um, formation of it and all that. The form. And um, there was none of that. And I, I, I remember getting up and I went to go check to see if there was like, is there really something physical out there? There was nothing physical out there that I could see. There were lights that were moving, guys. Went back, checked my feed again, my camera feed. The lights are there. Okay. Went and checked and looked and was like, what's going on? Okay, so since I can't see there's something physical here, surely this must be some kind of error or some kind of uh, artifact or, you know, uh, something going on with the sensor in the camera or something like that. Okay, something technical, right? The logic, right? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to examine this. I'm looking at settings to see if there's something wrong with the lighting or if there's something like that restarted it. You know, there's things that you can do. Turn it off, on, whatever. Look at this, you know. I'm doing this. These things are still here. Actually, one of the lights ends up uh, going into the driveway is what ends up happening. Like, it's not just going like this anymore. It actually comes up, boom, like this. Goes back. How can this be something uh, with the light if this thing is doing this? And then not only that, it went into the distance. It hovered over the floor about maybe uh, three or four feet off the ground and started doing this. How can that be something wrong with the light? How can that be something wrong with the, or the, the system in the camera or whatever it is, or a device or a, a part or something like that? And it starts going like this. Then comes up again like this. Goes back. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the heck is going on here? You know, and then it occurred to me, this is super. This is a supernatural event that's happening. Okay, this is, this must be some kind of uh, a spirit is what I, is what came, popped it in my head. Okay, I, I, I did, I googled and I was talking, looking up uh, stuff about orbs and all this kind of stuff. People were talking about these lights, other people, you can google it now. And then there are people that are saying, these are spirits and stuff, and uh, these are actually real. These are tangibly here, you just can't see them with your naked eye for some particular reason. And I, th I believe it was my prayer. My prayer allowed, God allowed me to see these on my camera. He allowed me to see, at first I could not see them, I've never seen these things on, the, on my camera or anything like that. And then on this particular night, I saw them. Okay, so I, I think God gave, just revealed that to me, answered my prayer, okay? And that, when that started to happen, I knew that, okay, if demons are real, because these are spirits, they're not angels, so these must be demons, and if they're real, then that means God is real, okay? And if God is real, and these are, in fact, these are spirits, God created them, and then it just occurs to me, we live in the narrative of the Bible, the, the, the biblical story of Judeo-Christian is the true meta-narrative, guys, for our existence. It's real. All the others are false. I'll get into that later, but it occurred to me. It just, it, I felt it inside me. I was like, and not only that, but I had rationalized it, too. Just from, it just came to me. And I was like, okay, this is what's going on. Okay, and from that point on, I had to, uh, uh, I mean, this is undeniable proof that I'm seeing here. That there is the supernatural, that spirits exist. And that, you know, obviously God exists, you know, Satan exists. If Satan exists, hell exists. But if hell exists, obviously there's a heaven, right? Okay, so and if hell exists, that means you're going, that means that this, people are going to be in there. And that's when I said, I, I, I have to come back to, to, to God and, and permanently, uh, you know, um, be in the Lord, be with, with Christ and accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and uh, I will be a Christian until the day I die, okay? Um, so, that's all I have for now, guys. Um, um, I hope you found this to be very inspiring, and maybe the, uh, you guys will listen, will be willing to share your testimonies, um, and uh, you guys just stay blessed, and uh, just may peace be with you.